Now we are a composite built trailer and what that means is we take today's um, best uh, technologically advanced materials and we do an assortment of materials to make the strongest and toughest trailer. Again, we'll show you that in the construction video, but it's important to know that, to know that we protect a horse inside of this box which is a steel cage built around the horses. Now I want to show you the safety aspects of the back of loading a horse. First of all, I want to show you that we've got this lightweight sort of step up type of ramp that's very low angle. And as I put it down, I want to show you that if we had horses in here right now, I'm able to put this ramp down without worrying about the horses kicking me. This is a very important part of, of uh, the safety of this trailer because a lot of the danger rides in working with horses and putting them on and off of the trailer. So once I have this ramp down, and you can see it's a very low angle and it just acts as a step up, then I can go over here and I'm protected against a horse that's inside here and I can latch and latch this and open this up. Now if that horse decides to kick this door, it's just going to kick it out of the way. I'm not going to get hurt as if I had a ramp here and storm doors. If I started to put that down and they kicked it, I would get hurt. So now. We can lock this out of the way with a tie back back here. Now we can let this horse out and I can reach over here, lift this up, and we've got an extra pin over here and just drop that down and I'm never behind the horse and we can let the horse come out. Now of course we do untie him before we do that. Now once he's out then we can do the same thing here. I can get over here, there's no horse to kick me here can open that up, swing it all the way around. If the horse decides to kick this, just going to kick it out of my hand. Lock it over here very quickly. We'll show you that later. And now I can stand here, not get kicked. I can just reach over the horse, flip that up out of my way, and then just flip that down and let that horse walk out. And you can see I'm never behind the horse's legs. So there's really no way that I can get hurt. Hi, I'm Tom Sheevy. I want to thank you for taking the time to join us in this video. This is probably one of the most important videos because we're going to talk about safety and we're going to explain why we claim to be the leaders in horse trailer safety. Uh, our goal has always been to operate in the overall interest and well-being of horses and their owners. So when even when you price a trailer, when you look at our trailer, bear in mind that what we do is when we feel that something's going to prevent accidents or save lives or save injuries, we go ahead and we put it on the trailer as a standard feature. So as I show you this trailer, which is our two horse bumper pull, we'll also explain this trailer as well to you. If you want to know more about our construction, which we'll talk about a little bit in this video because it relates to safety, but that's another video that you might want to check out and that's on equispirit.com. Uh, but we spent over 30 years just working on, on constantly trying to improve uh, our trailers so that they are the safest in the market. So let's get started. Okay, this is, as I said, the Equispirit two-horse uh, dressing room tag-along trailer. I do want to say that it is a straight load and all of our trailers are, are straight loads, not slants. We have a lot of articles in our, on our website that you might want to read that talks about why slants, we don't feel slants are safe, that we feel they're dangerous, and, and why we don't do it. But one of the reasons is that you can't unload one horse without loading the front horse. We believe that every horse should be, be able to be unloaded off the trailer without having to take the other horse off. So anyway, bear that in mind, uh, that most slant loads are also step-ups. And here's why we don't believe in step-ups is because what happens is when a horse is backing out of the trailer and they're stepping down, there's a good chance that they could slip under the trailer. Maybe the blacktop is slippery, maybe you're on wet grass, maybe a bee or something gets in the trailer and, they, and the horse decides to come out very fast and then they slip right under the trailer. The ramp just eliminates that. Now there are good ramps and there are bad ramps. But our ramp is a very low angle ramp, as you can see. So it's, the horse really is just, it's an assist to get up into the trailer and it prevents a horse from ever slipping underneath it. So you're just 
eliminated that potential altogether. Now let me show you that this is a major safety feature and this is standard on our trailer which is the two full height doors and the ramp. The reason for that is you can put the ramp up, we can make it lighter weight because it's not part of the back of the trailer. It's an addition to rather than the part of the back of the trailer where the horses could kick out, kick that ramp down. Whereas this is not possible because they're behind these full height doors. I want to show you how light this is to put up. It's got good springs, low angle, which is very important. Now, this is a huge safety feature because one thing, what you've done is you've got a great barrier behind the horses in case you have a rear end collision. They really have to go through the ramp and through these doors to get to your horses. And what happens is if you just have a ramp and the tail doors, which is what most uh, manufacturers use as a standard uh, situation, what happens is you, you try to keep the ramp very light. Uh, and if you've got a lightweight ramp, you don't have a lot of protection with the horses. So as I open this door, to get ready to load, we hook it back here, holds it in place and keeps the wind from blowing it around. We open this up, bring it back here, lock it, and look at this. You can see that you've even sort of put a barrier on both sides of the trailer to kind of funnel them into the trailer so if they're not going to go stepping off to the side as you start to load them. Okay, now when we get ready, when we get ready to load the horse, I want to show you this safety feature. These uh, Equispirit uh, butterfly safety latches, standard. Uh, on some trailers it may be an option, some you won't find it at all. But it's, it's important to note because you have this big door and this little, can you see this little half inch is what's holding that door shut. Wouldn't take much for a horse to kick it open or if you hit a, a good pothole in the road it might jar open. But the safety latches, when you swing that over, nice and long, they're not going to be able to kick a leg out the bottom or click, kick the door out in the bottom and get a leg out and they just hold them shut. So that's standard. Now we take this open, of course we're getting ready to load and this has a tie back so we bring that over there, the wind can't blow it in your face. I want to show you this, another standard feature. Uh, we have bar guards, very smooth bar guards so the horse can't play with this and also try to open it from the inside. Now as we come around the back, show you the sides, all the windows. We have nine windows in the horse area, that's standard. And the reason for that is you want a lot of air and a lot of ventilation, a lot of light. And it's almost, uh, we, we have an Equibreeze model, which is an open air side, but this gives you windows all the way down, almost like a stock trailer, but you can control the airflow because you can open the windows and adjust the airflow that comes in. So as we come around back, we're ready to load the horse, of course. We have the Equispirit safety latches here. Very, you can do everything very quick. See how I put these down and you can actually swing this over and we can actually hold this in place with this piece right here. So as you can see the horse has plenty of light, uh, plenty of room to get on the trailer, nice low angle ramp, you're not asking them to do anything athletic to get on. So once they walk in you can put this over like this, flip it in very quickly and notice that even though I haven't got it pinned, the horse really can't come back on me. So I can drop that in place and you're all set. And we'll do the same way with this side. Okay, now as the other horse comes on, I'd like you to come in closer and show you a number of things that again are standard in this trailer. First of all, look at this roof. This roof is insulated um, and it's one inch styrofoam, very expensive, high, high um, chemical resistant uh, styrofoam that's in this roof, covered with fiberglass all the way down to match the walls, which are also dual insulated. And you can read more about that uh, on our website or in our uh, construction video. But as you come in, I want to talk more about safety. The lights, 
we like a lot of lights. You know, you often find only maybe one light in a horse area. We have two in the back, which are double lights, as you can see, and it really throws a lot of light back over the ramp. So we do have an optional um, load light, but if you don't uh, want to do the load light or you don't do a lot of nighttime loading, this will probably give you pl plenty of light back here. You can't see this, but there is padding up here. Well, maybe you can't see it. Uh, padding up here, which is uh, uh, also protects the horse in case they rear up on the way out. It'll protect their heads. And the other lights are up here, as you can see. And there is a switch on the back. Uh, you can turn these uh, lights on at the switch, or you can just take a master switch, which is a toggle switch. And I don't know if you can see it here, but it's uh, right here. And it is weather resistant, so you don't have to worry about that deteriorating over the years. Now, all of our tie rings are not welded, so they're sticking out. They're all, we call them lay flat tie rings, so that you don't have to worry about that catching a horse in the eye. Everything is smooth. We have two inch foam, very nice thick foam in this padding, so that, uh, and, and also the uh, uh, lining on the walls, so that you're really protecting your horse all the way around, as well as uh, padding on the chest and butt bar. Now, we also do not have a center post, obviously, which we talked about before, so that you can move this divider over here and latch it with an extra pin that we have here. We also have a pin on that side as well, where you can swing it over to that side and latch it and hold it out of your way. Now, as you, we come up here, the bulkhead window is standard feature. We like that window because it gives more light straight forward for the horse but it also allows you, we have two non-leak windows in the front which open from the bottom and if you do that you can let airflow come through that dressing room through this window as well as air coming all through these windows and also coming around through the back window. so a lot of ventilation coming through here. Now everything works with pins. This has a pin that holds this divider. Just pull that out and pull this one out and you can walk this out you can pull this cotter pin out of here uh, and pull this post right out of the floor very quickly. This lifts right up off of the uh, post so that you can walk that out. So if you have an emergency in the trailer or a horse goes down, you can gut this trailer very quickly. Also, let us show you this. This is very, very important. If a horse ever gets over these bars, which is very possible, um, we it's designed so that you don't have any pressure on this pin. I don't know if you can see that. If you cannot get this bar loose from out from under a horse and they're over it, you've got a real problem. And, and you, a lot of damage can happen to the horse. Release and this bar so when the horse just shifts a little bit, it'll just fall right out from under him. Again, Echo Spirit safety release, and that's some of the interior safety features of the Echo Spirit. All right, we're going to close up this trailer. Again, we just flip that in there, let that drop in. We're all set. We unhitch the tie backs very easily. I'm right here behind the door. If the horses were on there right now and they decided to kick this, um, it would fly out of my hands. It wouldn't hurt me. If I was putting up a ramp and the horse decided to kick, I could be in real trouble. Flip this over like that. We can do everything very quickly when you're back here behind the horses. That up. Tie this with these two tie backs which holds this very tight and these are very simple there's not a lot of metal pieces here that can rust over the years or fail you know over a long period of time these are very simple to put on take off to replace uh, they hold uh, semi truck um, uh, hoods down so they're very durable but as you come around the side we're going to show you a little bit about the outside now we like as I said before, we like a lot of lights. You'll notice on the rear of the trailer that we have actually three sets of turn signals on the rear. 
We have one about medium. We have one a little higher, which the big semis can see very easily. And on the very top, there's a strip, and it has a turn signal on each side that also goes off. And we have another set on turn signals on the fenders, which is this nice big yellow turn signal. And I happen to love that light because it's nice and big, and you can see it from your car or, or tow vehicle, so you know your turn signals are working when you click it. Somebody's coming around you and didn't see you put on the turn signals, they'll probably see that one. And then you'll notice on the roof line that we have uh, two extra lights over what DOT requires. Most trailers of this size will have one in the rear, red, and yellow in the front, which is what DOT requires. We like to light up the whole trailer, so we put two in the middle on this side and two in the middle on the other side, and then we put the uh, chrome light guard standard to protect them, and of course it fancies it up a little bit. Now, as we walk over here, I already told you about the safety door latches. I also want to show you that these doors are 30 inch wide. And I want to show you this because if you do have an accident in the rear and your horses are protected by those doors, but you can't get them open, you can get them out this door pretty easily. Um, it, it's not a difficult thing for a horse to do, which is why we have the nice big 30 inch doors. So if you do have an emergency, you've got another exit for your horse. You wouldn't have that on a slant load. Now, I also wanted to show you that this divider, this is an optional tubular divider. It comes solid, but if I can get up here and show you, we'll clip this out. It's a little piece here that folds down and locks into place. And you can swing this side to side if you want to walk from here to there. If you want to turn this into a box stall, I mentioned before, there are no rough edges, no sharp edges sticking out. So if you got it all of this, which you can do very quickly just by pulling all these pins, you could have a Marin foal or use this as a box stall and your horse would be pretty safe in this trailer. It also comes with the running boards so that notice I can easily step up into here and it comes with an RV grab handle so that you can hold on to that when you uh, step up into the trailer and take care of your horses. Before we uh, show you the dressing room, I did want to say that the uh, spare tire is on the outside. Uh, we have the cover off of it just to show you. Uh, we do have this bolted into tubular steel frame, which we have around the horses. Again, please take a look at our construction video and that will show you how we believe in having a cage around your horses like you have in your tow vehicle that the manufacturers do to protect you. We do the same thing. But we have the tie here, and we also have this as a standard tie for hay bags. And I do want to mention while we're out here, even though uh, you do get any kind of graphic paint that you want to pick, automotive color, uh, and that's standard, uh, but the roof is always white. Even though there's a gray uh, pewter stripe along here, the top of the roof is always white to reflect heat. And if you remember, it is an insulated roof. So uh, we also have a, um, and I believe we're the only company that does this, but we have the self-adjusting brakes too. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that brakes need to be adjusted over the years. Uh, they get a little bit sloppy and you have to take them in and have them adjusted. These uh, brakes automatically adjust themselves as you use the trailer. Now, got to also gra grab handle at the dressing room door. The uh, dressing room floor is raised four inches over the horse floor. It just kind of ensures no urine and manure will get down in here. It also creates a flat space, uh, no lip actually at the dressing room door so you can sweep it out easily. The carpet on the bulkhead wall is standard. We like that carpet because it kind of keeps your bridle hooks from rattling and scaring the horses and nicking up the wall. So now you can kind of also take a look at the windows. And as you can just kind of scan down, you can see all the side windows in this window here and what I didn't mention before which is very important when a horse walks on that trailer and of course their eyes are to the side they will never see a dark space between the windows because it's just windowed out all the way down. Now as you look in here we have two molded saddle racks which are standard you can have space for two more if you want to get those. Um, the, uh, you, you can adjust those up and down at any height that you want uh, I do want you to take a look at these windows. 
Notice they're not the sliding windows like the side windows are. And I will show you that. And the reason for that is when you're in a really heavy rainstorm and the water is driving against the window and you ha don't have a sealed window because a sliding window is not, that, w that water is going to be forced in there and it's going to run down into your dressing room and you've got tack and everything else in here. So this solves that. It's a solid window, very tight, non-leak, but you can open it from the bottom. This brings the airflow in through here as well as here. And of course you can bring it through this uh, bulkhead window, which you can open in the center like here. Boy, I felt the air come all the way through there just as I opened it. And this will, again, keep your horses very comfortable and well ventilated as you travel. This is a good uh, place to take a look at this um, insulated roof. Again, I, I mentioned that we have this uh, very high R-rated uh, insulation that we use that's impervious to chemicals, which is very important because we're bonding this roof with this fiberglass layer here, and it's a one-piece solid fiberglass roof, so it's just not possible for it to leak because there's no overlapping of materials, there's no riveting down to hold it in place. The whole roof is made in one piece and then mounted down onto the trailer and then bolted from the inside and it ties the whole trailer together and you virtually uh, have this really strong roof that just uh, really has no potential for leaking. The only place we really penetrate it are the two vents that we put over the horse's head. Okay, um, one other thing, there is a double dome light right up above here. We have a real nice feature. Um, a lot of trailer companies, you, you have to click on the light at the light itself. As I said before, we have four double dome lights in there, but we have an exterior switch, which works as a master switch outside the trailer. So if you happen to load all your horses and you've got two of the lights on inside or four of them, and you don't want to get in with the horses, you can flip the switch on the back and it'll just shut off all the horse lights. We also have a separate light switch for the dressing room as well. Here is the light, uh, the switch for the uh, horse area and the other switch for the dressing room is up on the side. Now as you walk around this way, follow me, we still have this door open. <laughs> we put weight distribution system brackets on the trailer as a standard feature. We believe in weight distribution system with a lot of people often call sway bars and they're not really sway bars they're really designed to take the the weight off of this front of this one focal point and sort of transfer it over to the trailer and over to the tow vehicle and really makes the trailer track a lot easier and it kind of prevents the um, uh, a tow vehicle from doing this kind of thing sort of like a, a, a teeter-totter effect um, we also I don't know if you'll see this on any other trailer this is an adjustable coupler, as you can see. So you can actually move this coupler up and down instead of getting different drops. If you change tow vehicles, you can keep what you've got and really adjust this coupler to fit it. So if you go from a two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive and it sits a little higher, you can move this up and down. Also, if for some reason you destroy this, which is highly unlikely, or you want to change to a bulldog coupler or something else which you like better for some reason, you can take this off and put that on it without having to unweld the whole thing off of the, uh, off of the trailer. Okay, this is the uh, breakaway brake. I want to show you that, see this conduit that comes off of this wire? That conduit goes through this whole trailer. So we have all the wire going through conduit to really protect it. When they build the trailer and pull wires through without this conduit, a lot of the times they can um, scrape and then later on they touch some metal and you've got all kinds of lighting problems. So we do everything in conduit. We also have the battery on the inside rather than the outside. It's in the dressing room in a nice little case, and it actually has a tester on it that uh, will let you know whether the uh, battery is charged or needs a charging, and it is a rechargeable battery, and that's a nice little feature to have. Uh, the jack is a uh, bulldog jack, very easy to crank up and down. It comes with a um, sand foot and, and or a wheel, and you have a choice of that, and that 
is the diamond plate. If you can take a look at that, that is a standard feature rather than an option. It uh, pretties up the trailer, which I like, but it also protects it against road debris and rocks that might fly up against the trailer. Now I mentioned about the self-adjusting brakes, which you probably won't find on a lot of other manufactured trailers, but I didn't mention that we do have rubber torsion suspension. Now rubber torsion is not unique to our trailer. It's on most all other trailers, but it is a real safety feature. The trick with rubber torsion suspension is if you, uh, it gives a very smooth ride and takes most of the shock out of the road for the horses and gives them a very comfortable ride. But it does depend on setting up the right tow vehicle with this trailer so that you have a nice balance in your rig rather than to have a real strong tow vehicle and a very light trailer. So we can help you with all that at Equispirit. Now in closing I just want to say that um, with Equispirit there's a real value in safety and when you go out on the road with your horses you want to have a good time you want a good comfort level you don't want to have to worry about whether your horses are going to get on the trailer get off the trailer right an accident or what's going to happen. So what we try to do is reduce that so that you could really get out on the road and, and not have a white knuckled drive and just really enjoy the day with your trailer. So that's what Equispirit is all about. There is a real value in safety and as you price our trailer, understand that most all of these options that you might find on other trailers are really standard on our trailer plus some unique uh, safety features that we have that are unique from our 30 years of experience of working, you know, with the trailers. And uh, I knew that Oliver would join us sooner or later, so, and he takes the spotlight. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this video. If you need more information on horse trailers, hitches, tow vehicles, anything about horse trailers, just visit our website at equispirit.com. And thanks for listening to our spiel.